actually I was planning on playing the Les Paul today, but I got a request. I got a request from uh, one of my subscribers, which is pretty neat. Well, I'm just lucky to have any subscribers. I just think it's wonderful that people, you know, are watching what I'm doing. Um, my YouTube channel was originally um, suggested by a, 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 a manager in a, in a bar. It was a wine bar, and I was trying to get a gig there over here in Appleton, Wisconsin. And he said, uh, this is a while ago. And he said to me, well, he, I said, I'm on Facebook. I've got stuff on posted on Facebook. They're just cell phone videos like this. But he said, you need to go on YouTube. So that's what I did. I got a YouTube channel, and sometime back in uh, 2016, I started loading it up with these cell phone videos. And, you know, then I was also I was doing things on my Les Paul, just goofing around, you know, practicing and putting them on there, too, for anybody, you know. That, and then I'd share them over to Facebook for people. And I have a lot of Facebook friends uh, that, um, you know, don't go on YouTube for whatever reason, so they can... Um, you know, watch that. Anyway, this is a song, this request was a tutorial or, you know, to kind of like demonstrate what I did with the Chuck Prophet song. Chuck Prophet's a really good singer-songwriter, and this was a song called No Other Love. I think that's the one he wanted, and because it, it was on that, I had other um, comments, positive comments, which is really nice, you know. Now, I'm going to tell you, um, depending on what level you are on guitar, and, uh, uh, basically, this song is, for the basic chords of this song, is nothing more than the one, four, or five you'd find in any key. Okay? The, and the only thing that's really, it's not really anything uh, particularly tricky, but it does modulate a full step up to, to the next key. Um, now, originally, um, Chuck Prophet, you can go on YouTube and check out Chuck Prophet playing the song with his full production in the studio and, or you know, there's also a video live of him doing a solo acoustic performance. It's just him and it looks like a Sunburst Martin D28. And he's in a room with a bunch of people. He must have got a request to do some very small demonstration. I don't know what it is, but and it's real loose. You know what I mean? And um, in fact, the whole performance by him is loose. I, I'm not criticizing, I'm just saying it's, but you can see it's kind of cool. It's just him doing it. I kind of like that kind of thing. That's why I do nothing with solo guitar. There's no loopers involved here. Nothing wrong with using loopers and things, but I don't have any backing tracks or anything like that. It's just straight. I don't want to fool with that stuff when I go out and perform. I'm just going to, you know, just play basic guitar. So I'm going on and on. Anyway, the original by Chuck Prophet is done in the key of F. And uh, what it does, it does the basic um, one, four, five would be F, B flat, major, and C. Now there's different ways to play B flat. It's, it's a tough key. There's a, that's the one where the actual classical model is like this. Kind of tough on the acoustic guitar for me. I'm just going to do this. I would go F. Then just slide up to this B flat. It's almost like a G minor but you're using the C or the bass punch. Then you could add lip. See, I could do something like that. Then it goes, then you run six notes, like a six. Because when you're going on a six like that, third fret, and you can't let the B in the middle ring because the key of F has, the B is flat, so you can't do that, but, or you just mute it. But that's for the embellishments. Just for the straight chords, it's just F. No other love. Mama, I'm flying. There's your B flat. No other love. Mama, I'm flying. And just a basic C. I can go. Seven and to F can take me there. B flat. Mm -hmm. Three, one more bar. Then B flat and or the C. Now 
I'm gonna move up to the key of G. No other love. That's nice, nice. Mama, I'm flying. Now, right here on the C, so the key of G, the, the one, four, five are very simple. That's all this is. It's just G, C, and D now. So back in the original key, when it started, it's F, B flat, and C. Okay? So then you, you want to come off the C, the C takes you right into the next next key, which is, it, like I said, it's a modulation to a full step of the key G. No other love, mama, I'm flying. Here's your C. No other love, mama, I'm flying. C. And the five chord D. I can go. I can go. G anywhere. Back to the D, no other love. D7. Can G be there? Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of embellishing he does in this, and you know, and I can do that too. And I, if you heard my recording, which I did. Um, you know, a while ago, it's on YouTube, somebody must have, you know, the comments are all coming around that performance, you know, and, and um, funny thing about me is, um, you know, I did play professionally for quite a while, you know, I've been playing guitar since I was 12, but I, I started playing in bands when I was in high school, back in the 60s when I was 15, so playing in teen centers and stuff like that, and then a few bars and clubs when I got a little older, and then, you know, then I joined, um, you know, various musicians in the area, the Baltimore, Maryland area, and then I got into a show band there, and then all of a sudden I'm doing some session work for a couple of artists, and um, then I joined a band in Washington, D.C. in 75, I went on the road, and that's how I ended up in Wisconsin. I spent five long years on the road playing nightclubs, playing six-nighters. So I'm, I'm not a really hot, sophisticated guitar player by any means, but, you know, it's just basically come down to your ear. I play very simple. I play for the song. I'm not worried about other guitar players. I'm not trying to play like Jimi Hendrix or anybody. They're all fabulous guitar players, but that's not, I just play like I play. And you might find yourself, I mean, if you at some point want to play like somebody else and you work on that, that's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you want to just play the Beatles, nothing wrong with that, whenever you entertain yourself or your friends. But for me, you know, as in my career, I was just, my forte on the guitar was my ability to learn, I learned the fretboard and my ability to, to sit in with people really quick and learn songs very fast because I would get into bands and I would have to learn these songs very fast. We would maybe have a week or two weeks, I'd be replacing another guitar player a lot of times or sometimes I just sat in for a guy that was sick or, or quit or broke his arm or whatever. And I had to have that ability and, and that's all those years of playing and on the road gave me that, you know, that experience so that's just me. I'm not fast guitar. I don't have a lot of hot licks. I mean, I can certainly play lead, but uh, you know that's what I do. So this is a song. Let's just say it's very simple. So now I don't do it in the key starting at F, B flat, C, the one four or five there, and then go to G like I just demonstrated. That's too low for me. I can do it, but I'm a tenor, even though I don't have much of a voice left after all these years. But uh, so I started G. So if you're wondering about the performance that you're looking to learn, the one that I did earlier on YouTube, uh, down here, I start in G, and then I, tr I go up to A, and here's what I did. I'll skip the embellishing, okay? Well, I started with a, with a basic F-style chord on the G. One thing you have to learn that people, a lot of novices don't understand is you really don't have to fill every hole in the guitar. You can actually play very sparse and simple things. You know, especially if you're by yourself, you know, but you're like. See, so there's hardly anything there, but it's very. Um... Anyway, back to the song. So I started off very simple, like an F style chord, like you would play an F down here, but up a whole step, it's a G. Now you're dealing with the, the one, four, five, and the key of G, like I said before. G, C, and D. Oops. The guitar is colder down here, so... 
I'm not going to spend a lot of time tuning up. My Martin guitar is, is an excellent tuning guitar. It stays in tune, but the temperatures change. They're going to tune. So anyway, so here's here's my version. I'm going to keep some of the embellishments out of there um, just to show you the basics. It's A, D, and E majors. But there's a nice little thing and you can, uh, that you can do with the D. Instead of playing just a straight D major, you can play a D major seventh. It's very simple if you're unfamiliar with it. Instead of playing the D like this, you're just, you're just going to take your first finger and just the first three strings, the, the uh, E, B, and G string, or F sharp, C sharp, and A. So that you're coming to that like this. No other love, Mama, I'm flying. No other love. You can alternate, Mama, I'm just flying. Then E, I can go E major. I can go. suspended second. I pull the finger off. I just vary things like that to make it a little prettier. And back to the E. No other love. That's just thirds, uh, six again. Can take me there. Now when I do a little solo, I'm limited because I don't have a band behind me, so I'm just going to keep pedal tones. I'm going to play some thirds that watch. Now these are just fourths here. I'm sliding here in the key of A. played a lot of R&B, so I, those licks are normal for me. When you're, when you're co cap covering somebody else's song and it's a guitar player, you're at the mercy of what they do because a lot of times a guitar player does what he does and it's second nature to him because that's how he plays. Sometimes it's tough for a, a guitar player to have to go ahead and copy that. Eventually when you develop your own style, you know, you'll just, I just put my own stuff in that song, you know. That's the way I do it. And I don't worry about every little note that, that, that Chuck Prophet played, you know, it just it would drive me nuts. And it's just much easier for me to do the song like, like I do it. Anyway, so to recap, in the key of G, C, D, 1, 4, 5, and then, then you're going to modulate to the key of A coming off the D. No other look. So... I think, I hope I gave you a little bit of how that is. I didn't want to give you all these things I'm going to do. The cool thing 
thing about the acoustic guitar or any guitar really is you, you learn to use pedal tones or open chords. Certain keys you can do a lot with. Key of G, you know. That's a whole other, that'd be a whole other lesson right there. But anyway, so I hope I made it clear enough. So if you do it in the original key, you're going to be doing it in F. No other love. B flat. Go the love. I'm on flying. I can go C. I can go back to the F everywhere. Back to C, no other love. Now he, he Chuck Prophet does a C7 right here. Back to F T. Me there. Mm -hmm. Back to the F. The G, no other love. Mama, I'm flying. No other love. Mama, I'm flying. D, I can go. So that's his version. And my version starts in G and modulates to A, which I showed you before. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Um, I'll take a listen to this to see if it's, if, if it's, maybe I'll do it over again if it's nonsense, but I hope that helps a little bit. Basically, you can just keep it simple with the chords, and it just sounds fine. Hope that helped.